Hey guys, Matthew here. In the last video we talked about the curve tool, C-U-R-V-E, and the polyline tool. Which we effectively said was the curve tool with degree set to 1. And because of that, a polyline is just a set of lines. So these two things can be exploded and turned into a bunch of singular lines. So there are a few other things on top of that that we need to understand about curves. So the first thing is that curves, even with their degree 1, can have their start point equal to their end point, or they could not. So that's it with degree 1. And let me do it again with degree set to 2. So this isn't the endpoints aren't the same, and this is the endpoints are the same. And you should notice something happen here as I move towards that endpoint, that the actual curve doesn't hit that point anymore. So these this condition here is called an open curve, and this condition here is called a closed curve. So if something is closed, effectively, if I can put a point in which it can't get to the other side of the kind of line in 2D. So a better way of understanding that is that if the start of a curve is the same as the end of a curve, then that curve is closed, whether it is of degree 1 or 2 or greater. So these two are closed and these two are open. Uh, that kind of goes without saying, right? So I'm going to draw a curve. And then at the start of this curve, I'm going to draw another curve. And you'll notice that it doesn't actually um, edit that curve. I'm just drawing a completely different curve that just happens to be touching it. And I'll draw a third one here. Now, all of these three things are curves. And I can use a command called join to join them together. And now this is a closed curve made up of three smaller curves. So I'll describe this as a compound curve. It's made up of several curves. So just like I can, can explode a polyline, I can explode a compound curve into its constituent bits. But it will explode it into more parts than I may want. Sorry, I dragged there. Um, so that's effectively important things you need to know about curves before moving forward. There's closed and there's open. And I can explode and join them. So anything that's made up of several uh, non-compound curves are um, compound curves. And anything that's not made of those are just normal um, Bezier curves or B-splines. Um, that's it all for, that's all for this video. Uh, see you in the next one.